The scene where someone says this is gonna be the best Christmas ever anyone saying anything close to praising Christmas, will be divorced, disgraced or dead in time for Mrs. Brown's boys. Take Alfie Moon, who uttered the fateful words, in EastEnders in 2012, inevitably ushering in a tsunami of tears, humiliation, poorly executed Queen Vic punch-ups, and cold, Christmas night sleeping on the sofa. The scene where two people who are having an affair exchange gifts when's a discreet time for cheaters to swap greetings? Slap bang in the middle of Christmas day is the norm. Bonus points, to Corey's Kevin Webster for the time he ditched his dinner and turned up in the backyard of married squeeze, Molly, forcing her to feign a desperate desire to take the Christmas pins out and intercept him. Fest of the scene, where an unexpected visitor comes back from Frank Butcher to Cat Slater. A Walford Christmas wouldn't be a Walford Christmas, without a dramatic, unscheduled knock at the front door. But how can that estranged relative make a devastating return on, 25th of December itself, when surely planes, trains and taxis are almost entirely impossible to come by? Somehow, each year, someone, seems to manage. The scene where nobody eats Christmas dinner turkeys shall remain stoutly frozen or emerge from the oven, burned to ash after a hard day of sobbing and screaming. Even if the bird's cooked, it won't survive any, slaved over feast, from Cindy Cunningham in Hollyoaks dinner including panic dye frosted turkey to Max and Tanya in EastEnders Christmas wedding spread, is destined for the carpet. The scene where the annual snowfall arrives in reality, an ashen sleet flurry is the, best one can hope for, but in soaps snowfalls relentlessly landing on revelers' anorak shoulders, stinging the sobbing face, of Emmerdale's spurned Zach Dingle, or fluttering gently down onto Pauline Fowler's rigid corpse after an alfresco coronary in, Albert Square.